Hi Andrea, my name's Daphne. I'm one of the essay correctors here at artspodcast.com. Thanks for sending in your essay for correction. Really good to hear from you. Uh, okay, so you haven't done arts before and you are uh, studying in the UK or you're hoping to, it's great. Uh, this bar chart, okay, um, you're a little bit long here. You, yeah, it says 150 words. I would say only really need to do 170. Uh, don't go too crazy on this because this has less marks than the other one. Okay, this has one third of the marks, the other one has two thirds. So, forecast visits to four European cities from three countries. Okay, information about the number of American, yep, really nice. I love how you've paraphrased that. Excellent. Overall, it's notorious that the main travels to European cities will be American, while Canada will be situated in second place, and Mexico will have uh, less visits to these places. Really nice. Not notorious, though. Notorious means, like, really unusual in a bad way. So it is noticeable. Uh, notable, notable or noticeable. Ah, uh, sorry. That the main travellers to European cities will be American cities. Uh, sorry, will be American citizens. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. Uh, well, Canada will be situated in second place and Mexico in third. Okay, good. That's the total. Looking in more detail, American cities will be the only ones um, to choose Paris as the the place more more visited with 10,000 trips during. Okay, um, Paris as the most visited destination. Let's go. Well, not more. We want a superlative. Most visited destination with, and you can do it like this, 100,000, that's okay. Sorry, 100,000 uh, predicted trips. Okay, keep it tight. Uh, we don't want extra words here. We've got to be really concise and precise. Um, you don't need that. Um, so you could stay instead, literally going, because we've had the most, um, and I will just put in the most, sorry, just to be absolutely correct, the most. And then in comparison to Mexico and Canada, another visible difference is the amount of USA travels to London. Even here, Americans will have visited more, not will have visited, careful, uh, because will have visited is that they did the visit and now we're looking back, okay? Uh, American citizens are anticipated, nice word, to visit this place, uh, uh, what did you said? Uh, more, no, are more likely to anticipated to be more likely to visit here than uh, Mexican or Canadian people. Okay, so uh, American citizens are more likely, so I don't think you need even here. American citizens are more likely or are anticipated to be more likely to visit, so nice, here, that's London, more than the others. Okay, only in the case of visits to Madrid and Istanbul does the USA ooh, present similar numbers. Okay, you're getting into some really lovely complicated grammar here. I'm feeling this is a little bit going around in circles. I want some numbers here. Okay, it's interesting language, and I really appreciate that you're showing me language, but I want numbers. Okay, you only give me 100,000, that's the only thing you've said in numbers. I want literally, so, um, so, um, as far as, or I'm going to say it to you if I type it, it's really slow. Okay, as far as American visitors are concerned, Paris is the most popular destination, closely followed by London. Yeah. In contrast, Canadian visit visitors are more likely to visit London than Paris. And they give me the numbers with 50,000 anticipated in London uh, and slightly less, 45,000 in, um, in Paris. So give me the numbers here. I want the detail. The overall sentence can be like an overview, no numbers. But here I really want the numbers. OK. 
Okay, so Istanbul, do it this way. Istanbul is anticipating uh, around 70,000 Canadians, okay, compared to uh, 30,000 Mexicans, yeah. Uh, in contrast, Mexicans, uh, in brackets, 70,000, are more likely to, or, or the same number of Mexicans are likely to visit uh, Madrid as Americans. So then I'm linking it together. So I need to think about grouping the information and then I need to think about contrasting and comparing it. So group, compare, contrast. So I kind of like what you're doing. I like what you're doing in the language, but I kind of need this to be a summary, not so much of a kind of essay, if you sort of mean. So summarize. Key information. Um, and I want you to be comparing and uh, group and contrast. Okay, that is the skill that we're looking at here. It takes a bit of practice uh, and uh, have a look on our website. There's lots of examples which you can kind of have a look at. Okay, so task two, some people who have been in prison become good citizens later, some of them. And it's argued that these are the best. Now, IELTS often has a kind of hidden word and that is the hidden word in here. So we have to um, show the examiner, yep, I've seen that word and I'm gonna really answer that question. The best people to talk to teenagers about the dangers of committing a crime, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay, let's look at your word count. So you've gone for five paragraphs. Kind of, I recommend four paragraphs, so I would try and get this paragraph together it doesn't really matter, but I kind of think it's neater. Um, so prevention programs against crime are currently counting with the participation of well-adjusted and reintegrated uh, re ex-offenders. It is believed that they can guide better minors about the dangers of breaking the law. In my opinion, I agree with this idea to a large degree. Why are convicts' involvement entirely justified? Okay. Pre prevention programs against crime, yeah, are currently counting with the participation of. Now, I'm not sure talking to teenagers about crime is the same as a prevention program against crime. I see that you're kind of paraphrasing here, but I, I would argue that those are not identical. So be careful when you paraphrase that we don't go too far off. Um, prevention programs um, to deter the young from crime, that might be more specific. We have to be really precise in IELTS. To deter the young from crime are currently counting on or are currently incorporating the participation of well-adjusted. Okay, now, the most well-adjusted. Now, if you do that, fantastic, then you're getting into this idea here. Okay, you're connecting, you're sort of showing the examiner, yeah, I get it, I know. And reintegrated ex-offenders. It is believed that they can better guide. So if you're using this construction, I like it, but let's get this in here. Better guide, minus about the dangers of breaking the law. In my opinion, I agree with this to a large degree. Okay, yes, okay, I would say I, yeah, strongly agree, whatever. And connect this together. This essay will argue why. You don't argue about why, you just argue why a convict's involvement is entirely justified. Okay, some convicts, not all of them, remember, some. Uh, really nice, good, I like that. Uh, watch out for those points there. The main reason for accepting people who have committed a crime in education programs. Now, here, I kind of feel we're slightly, I, I, I know what you're doing but i want you to tell me that they're the best okay so the main reason for accepting them is because they're capable of teaching capable of teaching from their own experience but they're not all capable so careful of this you're focusing on the prevention program but i want you to focus on this some people become good citizens yeah and they're the right people so i kind of would rather we shifted it towards are they the best people or not um, you know you're coming to that. Uh, capable of teaching. Uh, 
ex-convicts have lived the experience of being in prison or jail and can share firsthand uh, can share firsthand what it means to be separated from loved ones from you don't need that from loved ones live in a violent context, obey a ritual. So those should all be infinitives. So on the grammar, they can share. You've got a modal verb, can, and share is the infinitive. All these other verbs come under that control of that modal. They can share, learn, um, live, obey, and yeah, so those should all be infinitives. Uh, obey a life routine and of course, lose freedom uh, or not have freedom. That should be infinitive as well. That's just a grammar point there. But I like the ideas. Well done. The fact of I had passed through real life scenarios provides more evidence and figures out how about how crime and delinquency operates and this can enhance prevention programs. Okay. Um, by understanding um, and appreciating real life scenarios, teenagers uh, scenarios explained by fully reformed uh, so they're now better kind of kind uh, fully reformed criminals could I prefer rather than can uh, could um, uh, provide uh, sorry uh, provide evidence and then go into this okay so I would just I'm just changing that round yours is not wrong but some of your grammar is not quite working so but understanding and appreciating real life scenarios explained by fully reformed criminals then I need to have teenagers could um, be provided with with evidence of um, or with evidence of why crime should be avoided okay I mean I've, I've changed this quite a lot but what I want to try and show you under is the grammar here okay so I'm starting here with by understanding possible clause and appreciating real life scenarios explained by fully reformed criminals we've got this idea again this blue here teenagers could be provide uh, could be provided with evidence of why crime should be avoided okay so you've got the fact of it would be having passed through real life scenarios provides more evidence but the fact of who having passed so grammatically this doesn't quite work okay a second argument in favor of ex offenders collaboration is that people tend to believe more in the ones who have lived watch out on the grammar here okay um so believe more those who have lived so believe more those it's not believing in like believing in god or something believe more those who have lived and who have directly lived and experienced a problem okay watch out grammar grammar uh on experience it is more trustful more believable or more Re realistic maybe to hear from someone who can testify about a direct issue considering that teenagers not an easy public yeah people who are imprisoned could have the credibility really nice therefore youths could be more open to listen to them okay i feel this is possibly a little bit kind of repeating a lot of what's in there i don't think you nest i think you could just tidy this into one really good paragraph um, and a little bit more precise maybe finally this strategy is not only benefit teenagers but also for ex-offenders who seek to achieve well no because here you really have gone off the question yeah are they the best so what you want to be going in this bit because this is what i was worried about here you're really talking about prevention programs. I don't want you to talk about that. I want you to talk about, are they the best people? So here you could talk about what other approaches could we do? What else could be done? You might just have an education program. Uh, you might say they're not suitable at all. 
they they might attract people to crime. Um, uh, so in this paragraph we'll bring however. I would start with this however. Despite some obvious uh, advantages, sorry, uh, many critics would argue that even the best uh, or the most reformed or even the even the most reformed uh, criminals are not an appropriate model for teenagers uh, who might become attracted to crime. Yeah, so I think that final paragraph, you need to go to the other side of the argument because there is obviously another side here. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay. Um, to conclude, I believe acceptance would be favorable. Good, okay, if they're part of the, yeah, also be better, okay. Okay, I like that. Uh, have an input, have a significant input. Watch out with the collocation there. Okay, so let me just summarize this for you. I think you've done really well. It's a good essay. You've got some nice ideas in here. I think there's some issues on grammar. Uh, I think there's quite a few issues just on the syntax, the organization of the sentence. This is something that we'd be really happy to help you with on the course. Getting feedback like this, I hope you feel, is a really helpful way to see where you've gone wrong in your essay and what you can do to address it. I think making sure you're answering exactly the right question is super important. Uh, this is something that we also look at. Ben's course, he gives you 12 key sentences to write in this essay, to put in the essay together. You've got lots of good ideas. You've got some lovely vocabulary in here. Um, but I think there's a few things that we need to be doing to get it absolutely in the right shape for IELTS. Uh, what band score do you need? It'd be really helpful if you could let me know. I hope you found this useful uh, and I'm going to just offer you some more corrections here um, to keep you going. So well done. Thank you.